We've had such a great time exploring the ancient city of Sagalassos with its most interesting stories and impressive structures. But we're not done with Sagalassos just yet. Today, we'll be cooking an ancient Roman comfort food right here in Sagalassos. Today, we'll be cooking a flavorful meat stew with apricot. Let's get started. Get my pan on the heat. And the first thing I'm gonna add are some dried onions, which is a unique, very delicious and interesting ingredient used extensively in the Roman world. I like a lot of onions, so I'm using all of them. And we'll fry our onions with a little bit of passum. And some garum or liquamen. This is the fermented fish sauce that's found in almost every Roman recipe. It's quite strong and salty, so you just need a little. This video was filmed at a distance that does not pose a risk to any cultural properties. These onions would traditionally be dried under a hot sun, but you can also do it in an oven on a very low temperature setting for a couple hours. It smells great already. So while my onions are cooking, I can get started on my spice mixture. I'll pound some black pepper. And to that, I'll add some ground cumin. You can actually use whole cumin as well and just pound it in with the black pepper. In addition to those two spices, I'll add some extra flavor to our dish with some fresh herbs. I've got mint and dill here. And now back to our onions. Our dried onions have softened and cooked through, so now I can add our meat. I've decided to use chunks of lamb today because there's actually archeological evidence that people in Sagalassos ate red meat and fish. These are pre-cooked chunks of lamb, by the way. And now that our lamb is in the pot, I can add our spices. That's the black pepper and cumin. And also our fresh mint and dill. So I fried everything just enough to bring out the flavor and the aroma of the spices. And now I can add my more saucy ingredients. I've got a little bit of honey, just a tablespoon or two. It's gonna add a nice sweet contrast to our savory meat. A little bit more liquamen or garum, our fish sauce. And that's for the umami taste. I've also got a little bit of vinegar to add some sourness the rest of our passu. And I've got some regular beef broth just to add a little more moisture and help it cook. So as you can see, the Romans loved robust flavors. They included elements of sour, sweet, salty, spicy and bitter in every dish they cooked. Such a flavorful combination of ingredients. So I'll leave our lamb to cook and I can move on to our apricots, one of the more special ingredients in this dish. Depending on the size of your apricots, you can leave them in halves, but I'll do a quarter since these are really nice big ones. And it's thought that apricots actually originated and were first domesticated in China. So they would have traveled along the silk or spice road, just like some other classic Roman ingredients like black pepper. 
The combination of sweet fruit with savory meat is just so classically Roman. They loved elements of every taste in their food, just to make it as flavorful and robust as possible. I'll put the cover on and let my meat come to a boil before I add the apricots. This video was filmed at a distance that does not pose a risk to any cultural properties. So there's one important step that Apicus, the author of this recipe, mentions. We have to taste the sauce and make sure all of the flavors are balanced. It should have just enough acidity, just enough salt, and just enough sweetness. Mmm, I think that's close to perfect. Now I can add my apricots. The contrast of colors looks so beautiful, and the smell is so rich with all of the different flavors and spices. While our stew is coming back up to a boil, I'd like to tell you about another ancient ingredient. Many stews in ancient times were thickened and finished with a type of noodle or little balls of dough known as tracta. We're not sure of the specific recipe today, but I've decided to use some basic egg noodles to add the same thickness and body to my stew. So I'll add those in with the apricots and lamb. It's boiling nicely. We just need a couple handfuls of the egg noodles. I'll give it one last stir. Put the lid on and leave it to cook for about 15 or 20 minutes. In the meantime, I can clear my table and get ready to serve. It looks perfect. The same aromas that graced this city 2,000 years ago have returned. Everything has softened and our noodles have cooked through, so it's time to serve. Look at those beautiful colors. And the smell is just amazing. And the finishing touch that this recipe calls for is just a sprinkle of fresh black pepper. And now we're ready to taste. Mmm, it's got the perfect combination of sweet, sour, spicy, and salty, just like the Romans would have loved. I'm so glad we decided to cook this recipe in Sagalassos today. The rich flavors were a unique and intense experience, just like the ancient city itself. If you try this recipe, let us know in the comments. We'd love to read your feedback. And thank you for joining Turkish museums on this journey as we continue to cook our way through Turkey's archaeological sites.